Hey guys, I'm so excited today because I've just got a new drawing paper. It's Canson 1557. I believe it's suitable for marker. This must be charcoal. This is pencil. And color pencil. Awesome. This is the 180 GSM version. This is quite thick. Great thickness for indentation. What I love is this paper has a smooth surface. As you can see, this is my older paper. It has rough texture, whereas the new paper is smoother. And let me show you real quick here. You see, this one is way smoother, so I should be able to draw in greater detail. But then I'll be copying photograph, and that's not what I wanted. So I'll be using the smooth paper to develop a different look, different style. And today I plan to draw with my graphite powder and my erasers. And let's not forget my paper stump as my main tool. Spoiler alert, I'm not using the paper stump to blend my pencil shading. But I'm using this guy to apply my powder, so it feels more like I'm painting. The graphite powder comes from my HP pencil guys, so go check my video about how to make your own graphite powder if you're interested. It is very easy to make, and this should be a lot of fun. So let's get going. <laughs> So I'm not going to talk much in this video, because this is my first time drawing with paper stump. But I'm going to explain a little bit of what I'm doing. So my first step is to sketch the face with cotton. This is my usual workflow. So I want to see the head size, where the facial features are. And you can start seeing the eye, nose, mouth. It's quite faint, because I don't want to commit too early. Once I'm happy with the placement, I then darken it with my paper stump. I use the biggest paper stump because it's easier to cover a bigger area. And as you might expect, it looks ugly. But it doesn't matter, this is just the sketch. So at this stage, I want to start refining the facial feature one at a time, and I use my smaller size paper stump, but although I use the smaller size, it's still too big for me. So to draw the smaller details, like the narrow eyelid or the dark outer part of the iris, I start by blocking thicker line, and then to make it thinner, I refine it by erasing the surrounding dark area with my knitted eraser. And same thing with the other eye. And you might wonder how I created the catch light. That was my Tombow Mono Zero eraser. So I love to draw the catch light as early as possible, guys. Because this is graphite drawing, and it's easy to contaminate the paper with graphite and not being able to erase it later. So I like to make sure that it's white and clean from the beginning. Okay, so this is the nose and skin part. 
there is nothing different. Draw the bigger shape and refine with knitted razor. At this stage, I was quite surprised as to how detailed I can go without using any pencil and just with the blunt paper stump. And it is a lot of fun too. You guys should try it sometime. So to render the soft skin look, I'm using the combination of cotton, which I used earlier, and my small brush. I'm not dipping the brush into my cravat powder beforehand, that would be too dark for my need, but rather I just pick up some of the cravat powder from the paper and spread it to the lighter, blotchy area. So it feels like I'm staining the paper rather than darkening it. When I sense that I've gone too dark, I can also use my knitted razor to pick up some of the graphite. The mouth is also easy. For the small details, I draw big, then shrink it with knitted razor. The surrounding skin part is also the same. I'm using brush to spread the powder and use my knitted razor if it's too dark. Right, so this is the part where I'm not quite sure which tools I should be using. So at first, I tried to use the Moment Zero to render the hair highlight, but I feel like it's too thin for my taste, although it works just fine. So in the top hair here, I start by covering the hair part with dark value using my cotton. And then here, I'm using my rubber eraser, instead of the Tumble Mono Zero. The highlight looks bigger and more sketchy and loose. I'm so happy with the result I've got here. And then I proceed by darkening the hair even further, and start defining its shape with my paper stump. And to make it look more refined, I use my Tumbomono Zero to put some thin hair highlight here and there. So here comes my rather crazy idea. So since beginning, I always wanted to put a curvy curly shape in the bottom some things resemble calligraphy. Honestly, I didn't know how it would fit in this portrait. I just thought it'd look cool. But obviously, my paper stump is not big enough, so I need to draw over and over to make it bigger. I think it's working, so at this stage, I begin to juggle it and make it look as neat as possible basically.
So what do you think guys? Is this working or not? Let me know in the comment section down below, yeah? Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Let me know if you want me to draw something like this again in the future. Thanks guys.